Welcome to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with your host, Mark Jennison, founder and creator of the Comeback, man who's going to change your life. Today's topic is nothing in my life ever came easy. Why the fuck wouldn't I struggle with alcohol? Sit back, enjoy the show, and let's roll. So this morning as I was drinking my coffee and working on my marketing and my, my posts and the things that I do day in, day out, I come across ideas, right? I'm searching and searching and searching and, you know, half the time. I don't always have something that's just so proud, right, profound right there in front of me just telling me what I want to talk about or giving me this stuff. Like, I have to actually come up and dig deeper and go through these database of pains, emotions, feelings that I have in the back that make me be able to say something. So as I was sitting there thinking and listening and journaling and working and writing and doing what I do, all of a sudden it hit me, the same thought I've had before. Many of you guys come to me and you're doing an amazing job and you built some big businesses, um, you got some great shit going on in your life, all things that required work. But for whatever reason, when we get on the phone and we actually talk, one of the things that you say is, man, I just want to be normal or, or, or it's, this should be like, this shouldn't be that hard. And the truth is it really isn't that hard once you get down the road. Like I'm, I'm contrary to belief, you don't fucking need to go to meetings for the rest of your life. You're not fucking sick, but it's having to get over that point. See, what I realized is this, nothing in my life had ever came, ever came easy. Building a business, sports, uh, getting married and finding this relationship, this love of my life, being a father, getting my body in shape the way that I wanted to be, reading, like writing, all these things, everything required some sort of level of energy that it took for me to get the desire to be able to, desire and, and patience and skill set to make myself stronger to work on these things. But for whatever reason, the expectations of the drinking, because I think it's just so normal to society, and you see people doing it day in and day out, who are able to control their drinking or don't have the same problem as you or whatever, or at least they hide on the outside, it just becomes easy to them. So you think that you should just be able to remove it for a couple days, not deal with any of the pains, emotions, thoughts, actions underneath it that's been hurting you for so long, and it should just be okay. So you white knuckle through a few days, or you don't, you beat the shit out of yourself, you do like I did. You do two, three months here and there where you're, you're sober. Then maybe hit 10 months one time, but you never truly get down to the root of the cause. What I realized is this, when I finally put all these pieces together and I accepted the fact that nothing came easy, like I said, that this is going to require an immense amount of work. This is going to require me to completely visualize and see the future that I want. Ask myself, where does alcohol fit into this thing? And then go after it. And once you know where you're going, right, if you have a goal or a deadline or, or something that you know you want to hit, all you do then is just start reverse engineering and figuring out what are these pieces that are keeping me from it. It's really not that fucking complicated. But what it boiled down to is a couple different things. Number one, I knew this. If I lived my life by a different code of ethics, if I would change the way, look at myself, work on myself, and I would build an anchor around myself, which was my comeback. And I did these certain certain daily tasks day in and day out that was gonna make a change, a transformation, a foundation so fundamentally strong that nothing could break it down. So I had to anchor myself in with a new belief system. Second, I had to be willing to work. That's right. I had to work harder in my financial aspect of my life, harder in the gym, harder at being a father, harder at my relationships, harder at believing in myself and squashing those self-doubts just like you do. So first off, you've got to build a foundation. You've got to believe in yourself. So you've got to be willing to work on a level that you didn't even fucking know you had inside of you. And third, you got to fight for it. There's going to be days you don't want to. There's going to be days that Ricky from high school runs into you at the corn brat and he wants you to do a bump of cocaine in the bathroom with you because he thinks that the motivational shit you talk about is bullshit. There's going to be guys trying to give you drinks who want to take you out because they want to see you fucking crumble because they suck and hurt inside. You've got to be willing to fight for this thing on a level internally that means something to you. You've got to be willing to die for it at times. The next piece was I had to become proud. I truly believe, and I want you to believe this, Your addiction, your struggle, your pains, your hurts, your feelings inside, the thing you've been going through is something to be proud of. You were blessed with an opportunity to be able to do double the work. 
See, it's a completely different mindset here. I don't think you're powerless. Just like myself, I'm not powerless. I'm proud of who I was. I'm proud of the fact that I drank 50 to 60 drinks a day. I'm proud of the fact that I could do hundreds and hundreds of lines of cocaine. I'm proud of the fact that I could fucking be able to survive in conditions when most people would fucking roll up like a fucking baby and just die. I'm proud of who I was when I was going through the struggle. I'm proud of the acceptance I had to go through. I'm proud of who I am right now. And I'm proud of who I'm going to be down the road. My 61 year old self is going to look back and laugh at the things I'm saying right now today but it's all part of the process. And that is a key piece here for you. Understanding that this isn't just going to come overnight. Designing the life of your dreams is not just gonna show up in one fucking day. Making more money, making stronger relationships, having greater communication with your loved one, better sex with your wife. All these things require work. They require a level of commitment inside of you that you need to go through the process. And I'll tell you, just like I've said it before, if you listen to me, I, I give away exactly what it is. There's four stages you're going to move across. Choice, clarity, confidence, control. In order to do that, you got to be willing to work for it, fight for it, proud of it, and build the anchor. So I want you to think about this today. We're inside of your life. We're mainly, mostly importantly, we're inside of your struggle with alcohol, maybe drugs, maybe pornography, maybe gambling. You can take whatever addiction, whatever guilty pleasure you want to call it and slide it in there. Are you actually not doing the work? Are you thinking that it should be easy? Then you just find out what that is, put that piece in, and I'm sure it's going to come with a mindset that's probably where 95% of you guys are going to do with it. You're going to come up and you realize that it's a mindset that you're fucking, you're, you're selling yourself short before you even get it started because you don't think you have the tools equipped to do this. But I want you to look at your life and I want you to implement these four steps. You got to work for it. You got to fight for it. You got to be proud of it. And you got to build your anchor. That's it for today's episode of the Comeback Podcast. Short and sweet today. Five minutes of fire. I look forward to seeing you guys at tomorrow's episode. But... For those of you guys out here who today might be your choice, you're listening to this, whether it's now or in the future, or whenever it is, you can go ahead and click the link. I am a comeback.com forward slash apply. Again, I am a comeback.com forward slash apply. Myself or my team will reach out to you and we'll see if we're a fit. We don't help everybody, but we help those willing to do the work. We're looking to hunt down elite alpha males from all over the world. And if you're one of those, you consider yourself a winner and you're ready to put this behind you, click the link, fill out an app. My team will schedule a call with you and let's roll. I'll see you on tomorrow's episode. Thank you for joining me. Have an amazing day.